So just coming back here to Ron Hoover to check out the trailer, you can see just by the fact that they have air conditioning systems pretty much everywhere that they do a lot of this. So that's a good sign. All right guys, so I am back here in the cargo trailer kind of following the progress of getting the AC unit installed. I love the fact that the guys here at Ron Hoover do this the right way. They got a gentleman here that specializes in roof repairs and he does it the right way the first time. So one thing he noticed right off the bat was that these really cheap little aluminum, I guess they're steel or aluminum, little cross braces do not do a very good job of supporting the weight of an air conditioning system that's gonna weigh upwards of 90 pounds. So what he decided to do was create these radio beams that go up and create an arch they're anchored into the side C channel over here and he's doing it on both sides of the inner portion and the outer portion and he's going to create a slightly less radius coming down to slope back so there's not this gap above these other beams he's done a really really good job really engineering this to make sure that everything is safe it holds the AC unit up without any problem and that there's no play especially when you're going over bumps everything might look safe and secure when it's in a shop but the minute you hit bumps large separations potholes things like that that unit's going to want to bounce up and down and it could easily damage or buckle some of these or bend them he's creating this really nice arch above these joists and these beams to help prevent any type of damage or anything from happening anytime I hit any type of bump so I can really appreciate the work that they do here at Ron Hoover, especially because of how structural they're making all of this. Anyways, guys, next video you see should pretty much be the wrap-up of all this and us being able to test this out and see how well it cools down. That will help me determine if I need to add any type of insulation. So I'm thinking of actually pulling down this three-quarter inch stuff right here and having the inside of it spray foamed, which would definitely work better. But I'm not 100% sure. I gotta see how this air conditioning performs. And this is a very large air conditioning unit for a very small interior. So I don't know if I'll even need to insulate it because I think this will probably be able to keep up with whatever heat generation forms in here. Anyways, guys, next time you see the interior of the trailer, the AC should pretty much be installed and we should be able to test it out and see how it works. Okay, so we are here on the final day of installing the air conditioning unit in this CargoMate trailer. You can see just the type of work they do here. They made some really nice ceiling joists to support it. They went all the way back to here to support it as well and to create a nice arch across it because you want it to be able to drain any of the condensation that builds up. You can see they used two by lumber on both sides of this factory steel support as well as on both sides of this one. They frame the whole unit in construction lumber as well. And if you look back here, you can see they even added an additional piece of lumber to support it in the back. And again, to create that little bit of a radius arch across the top so water drains off well. This is very sturdy now. This is really probably how they should have designed the interior of this trailer in the first place. But this is kind of a testament to the fact that the guys here at Ron Hoover can do this. They do some really fantastic work. You've probably noticed in past videos, if you've been a subscriber for a while, that I take my trailer here to get pretty much any work done, whether it's going to be my cargo trailer or my fifth wheel. And they just do it the right way the first time, so you just don't have to worry about something being done wrong. When they saw this setup in here and they saw how this was designed, they instantly said, you know what, we don't want to build it like this that because just throwing an AC on top here, even if you add a little bit of welded framework here, it's just not going to be able to support it, especially when you go over big bumps. There's going to be too much movement, and over time it could collapse these factory little uh, cross members. So they added additional cross members, they framed it out really well, and they added a tremendous amount of support. This is exactly the type of work you want done when you drop a trailer off and you want the work done the right way. They may not be the cheapest place in town to bring it, but knowing that they do it right the first time is important. Anyways, I'm gonna let them finish this part up. Once they're done with it, we're gonna power everything on, test it out, and see how effectively it cools the trailer down. All right, guys, so I am back here at Ron Hoover, RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, about to see how this air conditioning system is cooling the inside of the trailer. I had them set it out here in the sun. You can see the sun's passed by a little bit at this point, but normally in this heat, the inside would probably be upwards of over 100 degrees. I'm going to see what it's like right now. Oh, my gosh. Trying to get the door so it doesn't swing open. 
Wow, first of all, that thing is quiet. It is probably the quietest RV air conditioner I have ever heard. That is really amazing how quiet it is. So first of all, typically with an RV air conditioning unit, you know, this far away, you might have to talk up to be heard over it. But over here, I'm over here near my workbench, and you can barely hear it in the background. And the inside of the trailer right now, I would venture to say is in maybe the low 70s. It actually feels really good in here right now. So you can open up the vents right here. You have your controls right here to adjust how cold you want it and the fan speed. There's the air intake on the side and the output is right here. And it's blowing a good amount of air. The wiring is ran down the side here. You can see it right there and it goes out the side right there. And the plug is right outside and it's simply a 120 volt jack connected to it. So all you have to do is plug it into a wall outlet. This thing is working phenomenally well. Wow. It is really nice in here. I did not know how well it would cool the inside of the cargo trailer. Feeling the roof up here, it is very, very hot. So it's just a testament to the fact that this thing is cooling down the whole interior considering how hot this top piece of uh, sheet metal is. Very, very cool. Both literally and figuratively. Oh yeah, and something else I wanna show you is I had them install these little fans. So these fans are actually pulling air out. These were the fans that I had shown you in another video. I put two of them on right here in the back. They're not really pulling enough of the cool air out to make much of a difference in here, which is great. But what it's gonna help with is when it's in storage and I don't have the air conditioner running and it's simply sitting there baking in the sun, it's gonna help pull some of that hot air out. And there are two air inlets, one up here and one in the back corner that will actually allow it to feed air in. So it's just not trying to vacuum air out of a sealed box essentially. Very, very cool. Guys, I am absolutely thrilled with this install. Check out the reinforcing they did. They added all this bracing here. They added additional bracing right here. They added more bracing here, more bracing here, bracing right here, plus they braced it right here as well. So this entire roof has been significantly upgraded over what it was originally. And it feels absolutely fantastic in here even with the door being, you know, halfway open. Very cool, guys. So we got 60 degrees coming out of here. It's actually colder than that, I bet. It's probably oh, so that's just a mixture. Here, but I can... Yeah, let's look at the infrared unit. I already had it down to 60. Okay. Infrared is showing between 62 and 50, 58, 55, 56, 54. So let's say about 54 degrees. It's, it's holding on 54. Okay, so 54 degrees. If you can, real quick, shoot that up at this panel right here. So we're at, what is that, 98.6 degrees there. And then hit this one right here, the metal. So the battery on our wireless thermometer just lost all its juice. But this piece of wood right here was at 98 plus degrees. This right here is hot to the touch and the air coming out of here is significantly lower. And I would argue to say the air inside of the trailer feels like it's probably in the mid 70s, maybe even the low 70s when the door is closed. Right now we got the door wide open, but it's pretty dark in here when we close the door. And it drops down pretty quickly. No pun intended when I say very cool. Anyways, guys, I will put a link in the description of this video if this is something you're interested in. Again, the guys over here at Ron Hoover did a phenomenal job bracing this, putting this all in place to make sure that when I go over bumps and I'm driving down the road, I don't have to worry about the roof possibly collapsing in. I've seen some videos where people have reinforced the roof, but nothing like this. This is simply the best method I've seen employed at this point.
Anyways, we will be doing a lot more testing with this to make sure that it cools it down in all sorts of different conditions. What I am most impressed with at this point is just how quiet it is. It is a significantly quieter air conditioning unit than what I'm used to, whether it's a Dometic unit, whether it's a Coleman unit. This just is so much quieter than anything else I've heard. Definitely something worth considering if your RV needs a second AC or you need to replace one that's up there. These units range from about $600 dollars maybe even a little bit less all the way up to a thousand dollars depending on what all it comes with because I have the manual controls on the inside of this it was a little bit more expensive but if you get the ducted version which doesn't have the manual controls and it's designed to work with a thermostat you're gonna pay a little bit less anyways guys this is a phenomenal install I am very happy with this this is definitely something you might want to consider if you have a cargo trailer or if you have an RV in need of an air conditioner anyways if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.